Hello, this is Vic. Welcome to my channel and thank you for viewing my videos. Today I'm in the beautiful city of London here in England and I'm visiting one of the most historic parts of London. I'm in Greenwich. In this particular video we're going to visit the world famous National Maritime Museum that you see right behind me. So assume you were here in this historic part of London, the beautiful town of Greenwich and you only had a couple of hours to go through this museum, what would you see? So allow me to take you for a walk and I will show you the most important exhibits. Let's do it. And uh, here's the very famous speedboat, Miss Britain the Third. This is the first boat in the world that broke the 100 mile per hour speed limit. It weighs about one and a half tons and it is made out of uh, aluminum and wood. The design of this boat inspired the design of gunboats and torpedoes during the that were used during the Second World War. And this boat that you see here beat America X on a during a speed contest in the 1930s. And uh, the highlight, one of the highlights of your visit to this wonderful museum should include the 19 meter long barge of King Frederick. This barge was built in 1732 for the future king. At the time it was built, Frederick was the Prince of Wales. You can see here space for 21 oarsmen with the oars placed in a vertical position as you can see here. And here's the cabin for Frederick. Let's get a view from the rear of this wonderful barge so you can see how beautiful it is. And it is decorated all over with beautiful royal insignia like these mermaids that you see here. So spend some time, a few minutes, just looking over this absolutely wonderful royal barge. And here, there's a lot of information that you can read about this wonderful exhibit here at the National Maritime Museum. And uh, here on the first floor, just by the barge that you saw, you can find the famous painting of the Battle of Trafalgar, 1805. It was painted by J. M. W. Turner between 1822 and 1824. So don't miss this very famous painting. You can sit here on the bench and also listen to the history regarding the Battle of Trafalgar as well. As well. Here's a close-up view of this very famous painting. And uh, here's a collection of uh, beautiful figureheads from the front of uh, battleships or warships that served in the Royal Navy in the 19th century. Here's uh, Ajax from the HMS Ajax from 1809. This bulldog that you see here is from another warship from the 1840s. Here's another view of this beautifully preserved 
figureheads. And uh, on the first floor we find the Atlantic Slavery, Trade and Empire exhibit that explores slavery in the Atlantic Ocean during the 17th, 18th and 19th century. Let's go inside and let's check it out. And uh, here you see original leg shackles from the 1790s used to restrain the slaves on ships. Here's a pair of neck irons from the same time period. And uh, here's the logbook of a British ship from 1804 that records the trip from Liverpool to Africa. Here's a collection of uh, restraining irons used on the same ship after the capture of the slaves. You will find many more interesting exhibits here in this collection. So take your time, go through, read the description. Now let's go outside and let's continue our tour. Okay, I'm now on the third floor of this wonderful museum here in Greenwich and we're going to visit the Nelson Navy and Nation exhibit. And this is where we're going to find one of the most historic pieces for the British. And that is the uniform that Vice Admiral Horatio Nelson was wearing the fatal day of October 21st, 1805 during the Trafalgar naval battle and that is right there the real authentic coat and the undergarment he was wearing when he was shot. And uh, right next to Nelson Navy and Nation we find another very interesting exhibit. This is one of my favorite exhibits here at the museum. This one displays models of ships that played a very important role during the First World War. There's a brief history of every ship. You can find a lot of beautiful models of submarines like this one that you see here. Passenger ships and also battleships as well like this one here. So come up here and spend few minutes looking at every model and reading about it as well. There are several models of German warships as well. So you can spend at least 20 minutes here going through the different models, learning about them and how they participated in the action that they saw during the First World War. I am now on an open space right above the ground floor. You can see a coffee shop right there in front of me 
And if you have a child or children with you, this is where you will come without a doubt and let them loose so they can run around the maps that are placed on the floor. And uh, from up here, we can see this huge propeller that you see here. It's about four meters in height, the propeller that is. And here we can see the very interesting traders exhibit. It explores British trade with the Asian countries, including India, China and Indonesia. So come inside and spend a few minutes of your time going through this very interesting exhibit here. Here you will find a lot of uh, model ships paintings, historical items from the ships that participated in the trade during the 17th, 18th and 19th centuries. And uh, that's the uh, play area that we looked at a few minutes ago with the coffee shop. Here is the huge propeller. And in front of me now, I'm looking at the most interesting exhibit here at the Museum for Children. This is the ship simulator, the bridge of the ship. Let's go inside and let's go check it out. And uh, as soon as we go through the door, we see the ship simulator right here. This is a favorite place for children to come to. You have a full view of the surrounding area and it feels as if you're on the bridge of a very large cargo ship. And it gives you a feeling how it looks like to be on a bridge of a ship and the view that you get. Look at this. We're very lucky. Usually this area is absolutely packed with kids. You can see here every child gets about three minutes to play and to steer the ship around. And it is very realistic indeed as the pictures move up and down you will feel as if the ship is moving up and down as well. How interesting. you will find one of the most magnificent model ships here on the ground floor of the National Maritime Museum. This is certainly one of the most beautiful and spectacular model battleships that you will ever see in a museum. This is the five meter long model ship of King George V of the British battleship that uh, came into service in 1940. This model weighs, incredibly enough, half a ton. The original battleship was 250 meters in length, 
with a 35,000 ton displacement. Unfortunately, we cannot take very good videos because of the glass case. So let's go back a little bit and you will see how massive it is. So if you come to the museum, make sure you look at this absolutely spectacular model here. Now, even though entrance to the National Maritime Museum here in Greenwich is for free, there are always temporary exhibitions and you're going to have to buy a ticket for those. This is Vic. Thank you for joining me all the way from Greenwich here in beautiful London. Bye-bye.